Last time we took a close look at the Apple II GS and its graphical user interface, but we didn't have a chance to play any of its game titles. So today I'm gonna do that. We're gonna play some specific Apple II GS games right here on Vintage Geek. If you like what you see today, if you like vintage tech and vintage games, be sure to like and subscribe. It helps us a lot as we grow, but one of the things that helps us the most is if you'd consider becoming a Vintage Geek member. You can do that at the website. It's less than $20 a year and you get access to all of our video content commercial free, plus some bonus extras and more. It's all at VintageGeek.com. Last time we got to take a close look at the Apple II GS, which was great. Really enjoyed the graphical user interface that comes with the system, but I really wanted to see what the system could do playing some games. I've been told that that it's a lot closer to the experience of playing on an Amiga system or something in that kind of class. I wanna see what the improved capabilities of the Apple II GS can do when it comes to gameplay. So we've loaded a few games onto our floppy emu that were specific to the II GS just to see what this is all about. We're gonna start with one today called Arkanoid. This is actually Arkanoid 2 and uh, should be an arcade type game. Wanna see what this looks like, so let's fire it up here on our Apple II GS. Okay. Oops, this might be a joystick game. All right, so far I'm unable to move. Love the music though. I feel like this game would be going a lot better if uh, I knew how to control it. <laughs> so let's, uh, let's try this again. Is it a mouse that controls it? Ah, it's the mouse. <laughs> Should have known. I love the fluidness of the controls. It's very quick to move now that I know that it's the mouse. Oops. All right, it definitely went better now that I know that it's the mouse that controls it. Let's, uh, let's try this again. Oh my. <laughs> He's got a little bit hectic there for a second. Ah. Ah, didn't get over far enough for that one. I mean, I broke 4,000. Still not super impressive. The colors look great. Everything looks great about the game, and I do like the fluidness of the mouse movement. If I was just a little bit better at it, that would be good. <laughs> ah, things were looking better there, though. Ah. <laughs> ah, dang it. <laughs> Felt like things were just starting to get good there. Really cool game though, and it looks great. Again, the colors, the graphics, the sound, everything seems to work really smoothly. I have to assume that has to do with the increased processor power of the 2GS, as well as the extra memory that's allotted to it. So uh, definitely a fan of the Arkanoid 2 game here. Would love to uh, play that a little bit more over time and see what else it has to offer. But for now, let's move on to our next game, Bubble Ghost. I love this uh, load screen, that's pretty cool. Got the ghost there, and is that some kind of a gremlin on the right-hand side? <laughs> I love that the uh, little elevators are made out of the two GSs. I'm not sure if this is joystick. <laughs> Select the number of players. One player. Right, so first we have to figure out what we're using to control this. Oh, it is mouse. Okay, I like how everything is mouse based in the two GS. That's pretty cool. Right, here's a bubble. I click on it. Oh, am I just moving the bubble around? Looks like it. Oh no, <laughs> the ghost is mad at me because I hit that with the bubble. So how do I, is it just a left and right thing? Oh, so you can use the arrows to change the angle. That's cool. Ah, all right, so if I do this, then I need to make him go up a little bit. 
Then we gotta go down. There we go. <laughs> the animation's really fun with the actual ghost blowing the bubble. Oh no. <laughs> it's harder than it looks, guys. Yay! Okay. We gotta navigate some different obstacles here. Oh, I guess you can't get above that candle at all, huh? Yay! This game is really clever though. I like this. It's just a different mechanic. You're a ghost, you're blowing this bubble around. Now see, I'm not sure how to get past that one because I can't go any lower because the candle's there. I assume that I can't hit the block either. Oh, <laughs> the mad-faced ghost is what gets me. Love it. So there's a lot of different levels here you have to navigate this bubble through. I guess you can pick different rooms to practice. That's pretty neat. Well, this one, you got timing and everything. Yay. Uh-oh. Ah. <laughs> he gets really mad. Ah. This honestly feels like the kind of game that someone should make into a game for the phone. This is actually pretty cool. <laughs> I'm not very good at it, but I feel like I could get good at it with enough time. The cool thing about the practice levels is that there is no, you don't die, so you can just keep doing it. Ultimately, I really like Bubble Ghost. I think it's a very cool game and a great use of the 2GS, so this one's got a two thumbs up for me. Next up, we have a game called Zany Golf, and I'm excited about this one. You know I love a good golf game for the computer. Zany Golf, copyright 1988, Will Harvey. Oh, it's an electronic arts title. Some nice credits going here. Seriously considering changing my ringtone. What a fantastic opening sequence. A lot of load time in this game, but I guess I understand why. Okay, pause, click or press key to play. Press button over ball, pull back and release. Free stroke awarded for entering windmill. I'm not sure if this is gonna be joystick or not. So I assume I aim this way. Ah, oh, it's gonna be a little tricky. So if I click on this and then pull back. Ah, oh. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> so close. <laughs> okay. Yay! <laughs> Okay, all right, first hole wasn't too bad. Hamburger hole, it's making me kinda hungry, I'm gonna be honest. This game definitely feels more Amiga-like in its graphics quality, and to some degree, somewhat like the Philips CDI that we played one time. Hamburger is over hole, click fast to make hamburger bounce, then rebound off of ketchup. <laughs> okay, well that should be exciting. Uh, which way am I supposed to go here? So not that way. So I guess I want to go straight into the ketchup. I'm going to pull this back here. I'm not sure what that accomplished. Maybe I have to get like an angle or something? Well, I'm a little bit closer. Let's see what happens. Oh no, oh no! <laughs> oh, I guess I can be there. This is the last stroke. So how do I... Hmm. The hole's under the hamburger. I guess I'm just gonna go straight forward then.
Ah. Ah. So apparently I was unable to get past the hamburger hole, but I have to say this game is fantastic. First of all, full on bops on the soundtrack. This is the best soundtrack I've heard in a golf game probably ever. They really went to town with this, taking advantage of the 16 voice sound of the Insonic chip. The graphics look great, it's fun. There's a lot of different things happening there. I don't know how to get the ball under the hamburger. I don't really understand the mechanic of the ketchup, but I'm sure with enough time, I could probably master this and uh, get a lot better at zany golf. And I definitely want to give this another try at some point down the road because uh, just a really fun game and uh, love how this is taking advantage of all of the Apple II GS features. So now I want to take a trip over to the Apple section of the museum because this is actually the two year anniversary of our channel here with Vintage Geek. And as you may recall, if you followed the channel for some time, the first computer we ever covered here on the channel was the Apple IIe that actually sat in my mother's classroom while she was a teacher until 2018. And I feel like it wouldn't be right to end this video without playing a classic game on the Apple IIe original system that we still have in the museum to this day. And I want to try something random. We have so much Apple II software we've collected over the years that uh, I'd love to just kind of thumb through a box and maybe find just the right title to end today's video on. When I saw the title Crisis Mountain, I had to give this a try. I don't know why. I've spent a lot of time on mountaintops dealing with transmitters in my radio career, and Crisis Mountain sounds like either a fun expedition or a total nightmare, either of which I'm looking forward to seeing on the Apple IIe. So uh, let's give this a try and see what Crisis Mountain is all about. Never get tired of that sound. Crisis Mountain by David H. Schroeder from 1982. Good year. <laughs> Ooh, oh, I already like this screen. Oh yeah, nice. Is this gonna be our character? I'm so excited right now. Unprotection by Krakowicz. Well, the high score is 32,958, so that's uh, setting the bar early for what I'm probably not going to achieve. <laughs> Press button O to begin play. Hey, wait a minute. No. Ah, oh, wait, I can't move right. I only can move left. I can jump, okay. Oh wow, that was, <laughs> that was a lot further jump than I was anticipating. It does not appear that I can move to the right. I'm not sure if that's a joystick issue right now, but that is definitely a problem because I am now stuck. I'm stuck in Crisis Mountain. I also didn't realize that I was going to be inside Crisis Mountain. At the moment I'm just jumping randomly because I cannot move to the right. Something wrong with this? Oh, there we go. Come on, little guy. Oh no, I don't wanna crawl, I wanna jump. <laughs> Ooh. Oh no. <laughs> oh. oh. Look, it's a little angel. Nice. How do I get out of Crisis Mountain? I assume this is not an exit. Oh, but I can crawl out. Look at me go. Oh, and just go to the other side of the screen. Oh man. Oh no. <laughs> that seemed like a misstep. Ah. Okay, come on. I can get out of Crisis Mountain. It's gonna happen. Is that a timer? It is a timer. Oh boy. I don't think I can jump out of that. No, no, no. <laughs> hmm. Wow. Oh my. Oh, the crisis is real, guys. <laughs> Wow, all right. Well, that was my first trip through Crisis Mountain and that was definitely worth every minute of it. What a fun little game and a, a great way to bring it back to the Apple IIe, which I will say does not match the graphics and sound performance of the 2GS, but it is still one of the most fun vintage computers that we have in the collection. Definitely has a personal connection with my own life and uh, it's one of the fun machines that we like to show here at Vintage Geek. I wanna thank you as the viewer for coming along for the journey for the last two years. And if you've just joined us, be sure to tune in each and every week as we come up with new video content on these classic machines here on the channel. Also, as a quick reminder, if you liked what you saw today, be sure to like and subscribe. It helps us out a lot. The best way to support us is to consider becoming a Vintage Geek member. You can do that at the website. It's just under $20 a year and you get access to all of our videos commercial free, plus a lot of bonus extras as well, vintagegeek.com. Until next time, I'm Aaron, and this has been Vintage Geek. <laughs>